right now you have a, a huge telecom like Comcast or Time Warner and they build out the cable, they build out the lines, they build the microwave uh, satellite relays and so on. And they own the infrastructure and then they bill you every month to basically maintain that infrastructure. And so in the, in the new generation, uh, the third generation uh, Web 3.0, we start moving away from these companies like Amazon and Google and Facebook and, and uh, Twitter and we start seeing that these applications become uh, decentralized and so what we're doing with Skywire is we're trying to enable a community owned internet so the idea is that people are going to buy their own hardware they're going to own the antenna they're going to own the infrastructure and they're going to start building out a new network to replace Comcast and Time Warner and the internet monopolies. And the idea in Skywire is that if you're providing network services, bandwidth, storage, computation, you're going to receive coins. And if you're using resources from other people in the network, from your neighbors, then you're going to spend coins. So the people who provide services receive coins and the people who consume services pay coins. So this is a closed loop economy and it's really an ecosystem that we're building. Uh, and this is really, a, it's a demo application of what the blockchain technology can do. And Skywire is based upon Goofy, uh, which is an Italian uh, mesh networking application, but it's without, uh, it's without incentive. So the, there's a question of why are people going to pay for these nodes? Why are they going to share their internet with their neighbor? Why are they going to start to begin to use these decentralized uh, applications? And the reason for that is that they're going to get paid to do it. So we, we integrated these previous technologies for mesh networking and we integrated the blockchain as sort of an incentive layer. And then we ran that on top of our blockchain hardware platform, which is the SkyMiner. And so this is the, SkyWire is really the, uh, one of the flagship applications on our platform. And additionally, we have, so besides SkyWire, we also have what we call Fiber, where we're allowing companies to run their own blockchain. So we're gonna start doing meetups and tutorials and hackathons and start educating people about how did they launch their coin on Skywire. And when you launch your coin on Skywire, we already have 30 companies launching coins on Skywire, but when you'll get a mobile wallet, a desktop wallet, a hardware wallet, and you'll have a hardware platform, a dedicated hardware platform just for your blockchain applications. And so this is very attractive to businesses that want to start exploring blockchain or issuing gift cards on blockchain or starting to uh, so for instance, we'll have a POS system. So if you're a coffee shop and you have 60 locations, you would install this POS system and then you can start issuing uh, gift cards on blockchain and people can store these non-fungible digital assets in our, on our platform and, they are, and then you can go to the coffee shop and use your coffee coupon um, at the POS system. And so we're building a vertically integrated uh, blockchain platform that goes from the blockchain to the applications, to the hardware, to the, to the point of sale where consumers are actually um, using these assets. And we have fungible digital assets and we have non-fungible digital assets such as uh, kitty cash tokens and eventually timeshares, uh, mining rights, uh, futures, securities, and derivatives. And so we're really trying, we think that the third generation of blockchain is gonna be comprehensive platforms. We don't think that there's gonna be, we don't like app coins. We don't like, oh, messenger coin, every message costs one coin, or t-shirt coin, we're gonna print t-shirts for coins, or movie coin is for downloading movies, and music coins for downloading music, and these are really applications, and you, they just, like, you have the Apple Store, and in the Apple Store, you go to the Apple Store, and here's all the apps, and there's a million apps, and that's how we really see the platform is, we have a store and we have a platform and on that platform we're going to have music and we're going to have videos and we're going to have messaging and we're going to have file storage and we're going to have document sharing and we're going to have uh, gift cards and non-fungible digital assets and video games. And so what we're trying to build for the third generation of blockchain is really uh, an integrated platform that enables people to build their applications without having to program or to build their to build the blockchain from scratch because the first generation of blockchain, every single person had to build their blockchain from scratch. And then the second generation, you had Ethereum, which allowed you to quickly develop ERC tokens and to do an ICO and to raise money for whatever concept you're doing. The third generation, but in the third generation, um, the difference is that the company owns the blockchain. 
that the uh, that it's their blockchain. It's not Ethereum's blockchain. So this is uh, so. For instance, in Neo, they just started their first smart contract, but each smart contract costs 500 gas, and each gas is 18 dollars. And then the gas price went up to four, uh, 48 dollars. So some of these smart contracts are 50 thousand dollars per smart contract because you're on someone else's platform and they're able to take these gas fees from you. So we're basically, in the third generation of blockchain, every person is gonna have their own personal blockchain and they're gonna have their own personal cloud and they're gonna own their own data and they're gonna own the network infrastructure. And so, and it's even going to go as far as the centralized power utilities. So we have uh, three, three or four companies doing blockchain power grids and they're doing, and we're building a blockchain power meters and people who produce electricity are gonna receive coins and people who consume electricity are gonna pay coins. So we're really focused on the economic aspects of blockchain and building a sustainable closed loop economy within a blockchain ecosystem. The, so, the, so the Skywire launch for the testnet is one of the major milestones for, for Skycoin because that's really one of our, that's one of our flagship applications and that's gonna be really the first application of blockchain in the real world. So right now people are looking at blockchain and they're looking at these coins and they're asking, uh, how am I gonna use this in my day-to-day -day life? And I think Skywire is gonna be the first application that makes blockchain concrete, where people can actually see antennas on people's roofs and they can see how much bandwidth they're producing and how much bandwidth they're consuming. And they're gonna start using Skywire every day. And so Skywire, we have encrypted messaging, we have file sharing, we have if you're doing video encoding, you can rent out your neighbor's nose to do the video encoding faster, and you can receive coins for providing uh, computational services. You can rent out your Skywire node like a VP, uh, VPS. You can run a VPN over it. So we're producing different applications for different verticals, and the goal is always to get as many people as we can onto the platform and using Skywire and Skycoin in the ecosystem in their daily life.